In this video, I'm going to talk about how I was able to power this green LED using thermal energy from this candle at the bottom. And there's a special device called a thermal electric generator, which converts heat directly into electricity. The maximum voltage that I was able to achieve with the thermal electric generators was about 2.5 volts. And I had to use four thermal electric generators connected in series, which I'll show you a picture of that later in this video. The voltage that's needed to turn on the green LED is about two volts. Now a red LED is a lot easier to turn on because the voltage that's required is about 1.8 volts to get it started. And this is because green light has more energy than red light. So it takes more energy to power a green LED. Now let's talk about the steps that I used to build this contraption. So the first thing I decided to do was put these two wooden blocks next to each other to form a base. And I thought about gluing them together using a hot glue gun, but then I was like, nah, that's not necessary. Let's just put it together. The next thing I decided to do was put these wooden blocks together to form a column or a pillar of support for the copper metal sheets that I'm going to place shortly and to have some space where I can put the candle underneath. I thought about gluing these together as well, but that wasn't necessary either. The next thing I decided to add was the candle. And the picture really speaks for itself. And let's move on to the next pick. Next, I decided to add the copper metal sheet onto the wooden blocks, as you can see here. So this is going to be the hot part of the thermoelectric generator. On the second copper metal plate, I had to glue in the thermoelectric generators. This time, that was necessary to keep them in place. And there's four cells. Each cell is connected in series. So notice that the red wire of one cell is connected to the black wire of another cell. For the sake of identification, let's call the lower cell on the right cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4. So the black wire of cell 1 that is going to be connected to the LED. The red wire of cell 1 is connected to the black wire of cell 2. And the red wire of cell 2 is connected to the black wire of cell 3. And then the red wire of cell 3 is connected to the black wire of cell 4. And then the red wire of cell 4 goes to the other part of the LED. You don't want to connect these two together, otherwise you're not going to extract any electricity from the cell. So the more cells that you connect in series, the greater the output voltage will be. One of these is not enough to power an LED. You might get 0 0.5, 0 0.8 volts from one cell, depending on the temperature difference between the thermoelectric generator. The thermoelectric generator works by converting heat into electricity. One side has to be hot, while the other side has to be cold. The greater the temperature difference, the greater the voltage and current that you'll get from these cells. Now, there's one more thing I want to add. The connection between the red and black wire, you need to tape that with electrical tape so that you don't create a short circuit with the copper metal plate because metals conduct electricity and you could short each individual cell. So I have a, the black electrical tape connecting or insulating the red and black wire from the metal and I also have another black tape just to attach it to the metal so it's held in place. The next thing I had to do was add the second metal plate to the first one such that the thermoelectric generators are sandwiched between the two metal plates so that electricity can be generated from this device. Now the last thing I needed to do was add a metal pot full of ice and then connect the device to an LED or to a multimeter. Now the purpose of adding the ice is to make sure that one side of the thermoelectric generator remains cold while the other side that is at the bottom remains hot from the candle because as long as you can maintain two temperature differences one side hot one side cold it's going to generate electricity if the two sides become equal in temperature you're not going to get much electricity so that's why I added a lot of ice to uh, this uh, metal pot the second thing is the weight the weight of the metal pot will make sure that the thermoelectric generators maintain good contact between the two metal plates because 
if they lose contact, then it's not going to work very well. They won't be able to transfer heat from the hot side to the cold side and thus generate electricity or the, the amount of electricity that we need to power the green LED. So the weight of the pot helps to squeeze the two metal plates such that the uh, thermoelectric generators are always in good contact with both metal plates. So that's basically it for this video. By the way, for those of you who want more information on how these thermoelectric generators convert heat into electricity, I have another video that I made on this topic, and I'm going to post it in the description section below of this video. So feel free to take a look at that uh, when you get a chance. So thanks for watching.